Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Cleffy. Um, we talked in another video about um, air elimination devices that were manual and flow type. Now I want to talk about um, air separation, and, and that's a little bit different. This is typically going to be a device that's going to be located in the mechanical room, near the boiler, near the chiller. And Cleffy has a line that we call the disc scale line, and it's very unique, and it's got a lot of nice features, and I want to show you um, exactly what we do that's differently, different from the rest of the industry. So here's our um, kind of our bread and butter product that we call our disc scale. It's brass construction, like all the cluffy stuff, it's nicely machined. It's got a fine thread connection here so it can be disassembled and serviced to clean it out if you get, um, sometimes you'll get Teflon tape or something stuck inside the media. But um, let me take it apart and show you the different uh, features of this separator here. Inside here, is we, what we have is a, a coalescing media. And what that does is it, um, it presents a lot of sharp edges to the flow so that when micro bubbles or entrained air bubbles, entrained air, let me describe the different types of air you're going to see in the system first. You're going to have the large bubbles, which typically will purge out most of the big air when you flush it out the first time, especially if you're using the cleffy autofill valve where you can get a good flow and flush the big bubbles out. But now left behind is going to be what we call micro bubbles and entrained air. Entrained air looks like um, if you open your kitchen faucet, put a glass under it, and you see that milky color fluid. That's in trained air, and it's very tough to get out of a hydronic system. In fact, um, troubleshooters and installers will spend a lifetime chasing that air out of system. So, Calafi developed these products specifically for that tough to remove air. And it works by two different uh, methods. Number one, we give you a nice big wide chamber down here, because what happens with a wide chamber is when a flow comes into this device and it sees a wide spot in the road, let's call it, it's like when you get on the freeway and you come off the on-ramp and the, you get into the wide lane, it allows the velocity to slow down, and when velocity slows down, then it's easy to remove the air out of a fluid. Typically, we run a hydronic system around five, uh, four feet per second velocity. This can run all the way up to 10 feet per second and still do a good job. Above 10 per, uh, feet per second, you'll start to get into noise issues, but um, the wide spot is really what allows that to do a good job, and then the median there clings the bubble. So now what happens is the bubbles uh, cling onto that median there, and the small bubbles form into big bubbles, and as they get more buoyant, they rise up, and then they come out the vent in the top. So moving up to the top. Another thing I like about this one here is um, you can disassemble it and get in to service it. Some of the competitors out there, they just seal them together, and uh, there's no way to service this because in the top here are some really unique features. If you can look down inside there, you might notice there's a pin in there. And what we do is we pin the float. There's a hole in the center of the float. Now what that does is the float rides up and down on a pin instead of just being on the hinge on the top. And so now when this is assembled, and if somebody puts it into a system and they've got it a little bit off plumb this way or maybe a little bit off plumb that way, that float can still slide up and down. It's not going to rub on the side if it was just hinged. Um, so the pin allows that float to ride up and down. You can disassemble that, so if you do get a speck of uh, debris, dirt, or maybe shavings, uh, copper shavings, Teflon tape or something, you can get in there, you can actually take this to like a faucet and blow it out and clean it out. So it's very uh, easy to service this. It comes in uh, copper sweat uh, up to two inch and also threaded versions. That's our brass disc scale line. Now we um, do offer a couple little accessories for that. Some installers prefer to run the, uh, the discharge tube off to the side, so we do make that little adapter that you can screw a copper um, compression adapter on there and put a little tube, route that down to the floor off to the side. That's one accessory that we offer. Sorry. I like this. This is what I call our Michelin Man, and this is a little uh, preformed insulation jacket that we offer for it now. Just makes it easier so the installation uh, insulation contractor has to uh, doesn't have to wrap around that. It's three pieces hinged at the bottom. Put it on there. Has some sticky tape on it. Close it up. Hole in the top offset so you can still have access to your cap, and it just all seals together like that. One last accessory that I'll show you we have for this is a, um, a anti-siphon cap. And this is basically a one-way check valve that goes on the top there. You take off the cap that comes on it, you screw that on it, and now that prevents air from getting pulled into the system. Now, typically that won't happen if you have somebody that's mispiped their expansion tank to a high head pump. You do have the potential to pull air into it, and we're trying to get air out. We don't want air getting in there. So that's just a little uh, fixer cap that's available for there. We do offer a three-quarter threaded version of this. This is our compact version here. Uh, same technology inside, same vent on the top. Also, unique to the industry is our um, solar version of that. 
And what we do different with the solar version, it's made out of all high temperature components in here. The float's made out of a different material. We do use a stainless steel median there instead of the um, composite, so we can run this thing up right on the side there. It says 320F. That's a pretty high temperature. So this is unique in the industry, and the solar guys love this, um, this scrubber here, this air elimination. New to the Cluffy lineup on the Discal lineup is our new verticals, and this is a great, great product. I'm really happy that we introduced this because what's happening on the market is we're seeing um, more and more wall-hung boilers, tankless-type boiler combination packages coming out, and they're going to have the, um, their piping coming out of the top or the bottom of it. So what this allows you to do, and it can be used either direction here, is let's say this is going to go on top of a boiler, so the flow will come up through there, and we built a passageway inside this, so the flow is going to go around, going to go through the elimination median here, and then it'll come out this way, or it could be put on the top or bottom, and the same thing, the flow is going to be forced to go around through the media first and then back out. So now you don't have to come up elbow, 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 and come back. It's a nice, clean-looking package and a nice way to um, to use it on a vertically piped system. I want to talk about this other um, way that we've seen. For years, we put um, air elimination devices that were uh, called a scoop or a ramp type air elimination device. And I know you've seen them. They're like a cast iron or an iron bodied thing. They're threaded in the systems. And they'll have a float vent on the top of it. And we make a replacement vent for those also. We make it with this optional check valve. What we do on ours is we put a little tab on it, so what this does is when you screw it in the top of that, um, that ramp type scoop air eliminator, that little tab will get down there and try and encourage the bubbles to come up there, because the bubbles have to find their way up to that small port in there, and it's not an easy thing to do. We much prefer to uh, put the, the separation type of air separation, the disc L device on that, but this is a replacement part for that. What we do with this one, in addition to making the check valve option, is it's disassembled uh, on the top here so you can get in there to clean it out. A lot of the other brands are just crimped together and you can't service them, you have to throw them out all the time. So that is an option if you come across a job that has one of the ramp type scoops in it. All right, let's go over to the big Kahuna. This is our uh, steel version of it. It comes in a flange version. Uh, right at two inch sweat is where we cross over. We offer the uh, brass version up to two inch and then we go over the steel version here and this comes in a flanged uh, configuration. It's available as an ASSME listing as well as the Canadian CRN number. Um, steel version, I want to show you some of the unique features on this because we've loaded some great um, components onto this. So on the top end here, we've done the same thing that we've done on our smaller brass disc L version, is we use the same mechanism in there, the same float, the same uh, uh, stainless steel linkage in there, but we've put a much longer um, rod on that float there so it hangs down into the device a little bit further and I'm going to show you why that's important. Inside here, if you can go inside there with me, you'll see a little uh, valve on the outside and the gooseneck tube that goes inside there so it comes up and it bends in there. And what this does, this is great, you think about this. When you first fill up a system, all the debris that's in the system, and there's going to be debris in there, especially if you're using threaded pipe or you, um, you've soldered or you're roll grooved or something like that, that debris is going to float up as you fill it up the first time. Now you're going to be using a cluffy autofill device, so you're going to fill this up quickly. Well, by having this um, full port ball valve over there, as that fluid comes up in there, that debris is going to float up with it, and now we're going to be able to flush it out the side of this tube with a garden hose, maybe a washing machine hose connected on that. So now we can get that dirt and debris flushed out of there before it has the chance to get up into our float and up into our, um, into our air vent mechanism there. Now if you'll notice in there, if you can see that, that float is set right about the same level as that, um, that little tube that goes out the side there. So that's one of the unique features that we put on it just to make it easier for the installer, make it easier to um, uh, commission the system first time and get all the dirt and debris out. And in this one here, we use a stainless steel uh, coalescing media in there. You can see the same thing that we do with the um, composite and the, and the brass version is a lot of surface area, a lot of sharp, in fact so sharp I've already pricked my finger on that, uh, a lot of sharp surface areas that are going to cling those little small bubbles, force them into larger bubbles and come up, so this of course just gets loaded right inside there. But um, we use stainless steel or like I said the uh, composite and the other one because it's not going to be sensitive to um, harsh water conditions or electrolysis. So if you have a system with glycol that goes bad over the years, it's not going to attack this media and cause it to break down and flush into your system. So the stainless steel media with the sharp edges is the key to the, um, the good uh, air elimination that you get from that. So I know it's a comprehensive line, but we think we've got the best products on the market and so that's the Cluffy Discale line.